soil mechanics session 5 weight volume relationship in this example we want to calculate the a specific weight of of a specific weight of of soil sample or is provided to be 2.6 we want to calculate soil void ratio void ratio and also sr so we want we are looking for gs is provided to be 2.6 we are looking for void ratio and also saturated rate saturation ratio mm -hmm. let's start our problem so we know void ratio is volume of void over volume of soil so the volume of void is a summation of volume of air plus volume of water and total volume is provided to be uh, 5400 cube meter cube centimeters and and the total weight is provided to be 10200 uh, gr mm -hmm, gram and at the same time weight of soil grain is provided to be 7800 First of all, moisture content is is weight of water over weight of soil. Mm -hmm. If we subtract the total weight, which is ten two hundred, uh -huh, minus weight of water, weight of soil, it gives us the rest is weight of water because air has no. We just we neglect we are uh, that's a negligible amount so we we just neglect the neglecting the uh, volume uh, weight of of air so that's the rest is weight of water so if you divide weight of water over weight of soil it just gives us the most uh, moisture content of, of 31 percentage gamma d at the same time dry unit weight is weight of soil over total volume Weight of soil is provided 7800 over 5400. It gives us 1.44 gram per cube centimeters. That's our dry unit weight. Mm -hmm. At the same time, we do know if we if the moisture content is is known to us, we have a relation between dry density and total density, dry unit weight and dry a uh, unit weight a uh, total unit weight mm -hmm. so that's a gamma t is equal to one plus moisture content that's 1.31 times gamma d which is 1.44 and it just gives us a total uh, unit weight of 1.89 gram per centimeter cubed mm -hmm. And to calculate void ratio, mm -hmm. if you write down the main equation for gamma t, that's a GS times 1 plus moisture content over 1 plus a void ratio times a unit weight of water. And the only unknown here is E, because GS is provided in data statement, that's 2.6. We calculate water content, that's 31%. And gamma W and gamma T is already calculated. So if you replace that in the equation, it just gives you a numeric value for void ratio of, of 0.8. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, SR time E is, is equal to moisture content times GS. So if you do the calculation, it just gives you a SR of 1, which says a, our sample was fully saturated. Mm -hmm. Yet we can solve this problem in a different approach, which is, to my understanding, that's an easier solution. So if we write the GS equation, which is a specific uh, uh, 
a specific gravity is a unit weight of soil over unit weight of water unit weight of whatever you have over unit weight of water so a unit weight if you expand gamma s that's weight of soil over volume of soil over volume of water uh, unit of unit weight of water or gamma of water and if you rewrite the equation based off a volume of soil that gives you 7800 which is the volume of uh, weight of soil over gs which is provided in data statement and gamma w is just one gram per centimeter cubed mm -hmm. or 1000 kilogram per cube meters and it just gives you a volume of solid volume of soil is is 3000 and if you remember from the a review of formula that's a vs is total v over one plus void ratio and if you replace that in the equation it just gives you total volume of 5400 over 1 plus a void ratio is equal to v, vs which is 3000 and it just gives you a void ratio of 0.8 which is the same numeric value of which we already calculated and if you plug that in sr times e is equal to wgs it just gives you sr equal to 1 which means the soil is fully saturated and I think this solution is is a, a shorter thank you and we'll hopefully start a new chapter next time